So Donald Trump is desperately trying to keep documents related to January 6th secret. And he's arguing that because he used to be president, he forever has executive privilege. But that's not going to work. It's only a stalling tactic. And fundamentally, the only thing that can save him, the only thing that can help him keep these records secret is for him to beg Joe Biden for mercy, which is super delicious. Right now, the story is developing because a few days ago, it was announced by Biden and his team that he wouldn't be shielding documents related to Trump's communications on and around January 6. That while Biden does have the ability to assert that executive privilege does protect those documents because it is presidential communication, Biden in this case is refusing to do so, at least for now. And then Donald Trump responded by saying that I am going to sue and try to assert that yes, those documents are covered by executive privilege, despite the fact that Trump's efforts to do so since he's become president, whether it's about his taxes or other public documents have largely failed even in front of conservative judges and with his taxes, even in front of a six to three conservative Supreme Court where he's appointed three of the nine judges personally. And so this is just a stalling tactic. Donald Trump does have the right to sue. He does have the right to make a case that yes, these are protected by executive privilege, even if the current president thinks otherwise, but it's not going to work. It's only an effort to stymie, to stall, to hope that if he does this long enough, people will get bored with the January 6th committee. Maybe he can drag it out to the next midterms. Maybe that's his hope, trying to get to the next midterms when the Congress will change. I don't know what his objective is, but none of it's really going to work. And a lot of lawyers have said, legal precedent makes it clear. Lawrence Tribe, a, a famous lawyer, says, a helpful explanation of why Nixon versus GSA, a 1977 case, gives Biden, not Trump, control over which documents and what testimony are shielded by executive privilege by former White House counsel Neil Eggleston. So basically, every expert lawyer has made it clear Trump has no standing here. And so the only thing that can save him, it's not the courts, it's not his movement, it's not the Republican Party, it's begging Joe Biden. And I wouldn't be shocked if maybe Donald Trump behind the scenes is trying to broker some kind of deal trying to say, look, I know ultimately I'm going to lose these cases. I have to file them because I can't look weak. I have to file them because I can't be looking to my movement like I'm giving up to the Democrats. But the only way I can save myself is by going hands and knees, crawling, begging, pleading to Joe Biden saying, please, Mr. President, please don't ruin my life. Pre please don't give the documents of myself and my kids and my congressional allies up to this committee that makes us all look like absolute criminal monsters, please. But you know, I don't think Biden's going to do it. Biden's already signaled. And if anything, and I'm not saying Biden is a vengeful man in a personal basis necessarily, but you got to feel that Biden's enjoying this. The man that mocked him, that mocked his family, that called him Sleepy Joe is now in a position where the only one who can save him is that sleepy Joe. And guys, I don't think it's going to happen. Trump can whine, he can stall, he can complain, but these documents are in the possession of the current president and they will be seen by the committee and they will make Trump look like a criminal. The question is, will Congress have the guts to punish this monster?